Well, the role of our teachers is crucial to every child's future, but educators face a constant challenge to pay for supplies and programs, often paying for them out of their own pockets. So we go on the record with a local foundation dedicated to making sure teachers get the resources they need to help students thrive. From WPBF 25, this is On the Record with Todd McDermott. Good morning. The Education Foundation supports local teachers by bridging the financial gaps and funding for our schools and classrooms. So joining us this morning is James Garellos, the president and CEO. Before we do anything else, let's talk about the gaps themselves. Jim, and just tell us what it is that you are addressing with the foundation. Well, the, the truth is Florida ranks 47th in the nation in per student spending. And so the, the simple fact is our teachers don't have the basic resources they need to teach. Uh, they have the passion, they have the dedication, but do they have the school supplies? And in some cases, do they have the curriculum? Do they have those extra things that our creative, innovative teachers need? What we've been doing for 40 years, we're coming up on our 40th birthday uh, in March. We were founded 40 years ago by the Economic Council of Palm Beach County. And we were set up as the bridge between the business community and the world of education. We bring our local business partners and their passion for public education and connect them to the teachers who desperately need their help. Let's just, before we even go further, let's talk about what supplies are most needed that they don't have. Well, we're gonna talk about two different things. The Education Foundation funds grants in a number of buckets. We fund STEM grants, which is self-explanatory. Uh, we fund a lot of literacy programs. Todd, uh, most people don't realize this. Uh, many states determine how many prisons they build based on third grade reading scores. The clearest indicator of future incarceration are third grade reading scores. And so we fund a lot of literacy programs, a lot of college and career readiness. We're funding career academies. The district of Palm Beach County, our school district, is the first district in the entire state of Florida to have a career academy tra training the next generation of behavioral health technicians. So we have a number of grant programs that we fund. Our signature program is Red Apple Supplies. Uh, one of our board members, Meredith Trim, uh, eight years ago, looked around and said, what do we do with teachers who don't have basic school supplies for their students? Like pencils, construction paper, exactly whatever correct. they Scotch need. Exactly scotch tape, glue sticks. Uh, the, the truth is one out of five children in Palm Beach County live below the poverty level. And you might say, okay, well, what does that mean? In a school district the size of Palm Beach County, that's 40,000 children. That's 40,000 children who go to school on the first day without a backpack, without glue and scotch tape and protractors and the things they need. How do you expect a child to, uh, to succeed without the basic tools of success? And there isn't government funding that covers some of those very basic needs. Teachers get a very small stipend, but the need is so immense, uh, the answer is no. Uh, Todd, last year alone, our Red Apple Supply Program distributed $1.4 million in school supplies. We're currently serving 86 of our district's 182 schools, and our plan is ultimately to serve all 182 schools. I'm going to talk more about this as this half hour progresses, but where is this money coming from? It comes from the local community. Palm Beach County is an amazing philanthropic generous place and it's the business community our champions of education and many of our uh, philanthropic partners who really believe in public education and want to make sure that our kids have everything they need to succeed all right we see people in hard hats and we have a hard hat <laughs> right here with us on set this morning you just broke ground recently <clears throat> on a new building so talk about the new facility and how it will change the game Three years ago, the you school... You don't have to put that on, by the way. Okay. <laughs> Three years ago, the school district gave us 3.7 acres of land in Lake Worth Beach. Uh, on December 5th, we broke ground on what will be a 32,000 square foot facility. It will give us 20,000 square feet of warehouse and Red Apple Supply showroom space. That's huge. Oh, absolutely. It's going to give us the physical capacity to serve every school in the district. It'll also be the center for our program and all of our grant programs. I'm going to give you another offshoot of Red Apple Supply. In August, we run something called the Backpack Initiative. We started four years ago with 1,000. Todd, this year in August, we passed out 23,695 fully stocked backpacks in 39 of our district schools. We're serving 21% of the school district just in that one program alone. So we're talking about what you can do for students and, and getting the backpacks and supplies in the backpacks, helping teachers out. But it's more than that, isn't it? There's really a, a wider impact on our community and our families as a whole. Well, you're exactly correct. A, a better educated student becomes a better citizen when they're more prepared for either college or in many cases, the workforce. A lot of the career academies that we're funding, uh, you have the cybersecurity program at Santa Lucis, the HVAC Academy at Royal Palm High School and at Riviera Prep. Uh, you also have our fire science academy at, at Palm Beach Lake. So these academies are training people for careers that don't require college 
All of this is going to be headquartered in our new building. We launched our campaign just one years ago. Uh, one year ago, we set out to raise fifteen million dollars. Todd, and in just twelve months, we've raised twelve point two million dollars. That's incredible. Now. I have to ask, some people may be watching and they may be shocked that the Education Foundation even exists. They've never heard of it. How do you spread the word? Uh, by doing things like, you're very gracious to let us share our story. Uh, we are very much part of the community. I speak before business and, and local civic groups probably five days a week. Uh, and anyone who wants to, to reach out to us, educationfoundationpbc.org. I want to give you something to think about as you look at these pictures of the groundbreaking and, and you know, 182 schools and $1.4 million in school supplies and, and all of these big numbers that I'm throwing at you with the incredible support of our superintendent, Mike Burke. But here's what it's about. Uh, Jennifer Etheridge, who you're going to meet in a few minutes, uh, one of the teachers approached her uh, a few weeks ago and the star student in that classroom had missed two or three assignments. The teacher said, what's up with you? You never missed an assignment. Mm -hmm. And the student said, it wasn't my night for the pencil. Wow. Now just let that sink in. Your face right now is the reaction I've gotten from everyone to whom I've shared this story. It wasn't my night for the pencil. This child has four brothers and sisters. There are five kids in the family. Each kid gets one night with the pencil at home and had to tell the teacher, it wasn't my night. I couldn't complete my assignment. That really says all that needs to be said. What more do you need to say to that? Mm -hmm. 40,000 kids in Palm Beach County fit that description. Red Apple Supply was set up to address that challenge. The Education Foundation is here to make sure that every child has not only the pencils and pens and glue sticks and, and, and program books, but they have the curriculum, they have the motivated teachers, they have the programs, they have the career academies, they have everything they need so that Superintendent Burke can carry out his vision of a first class, world class education where every child is inspired, every child is, is accepted and loved and, and given the tools they need to succeed. And clearly they have, through the Education Foundation, the community behind them, and that is so important. James, thank you for being here this morning. Thank you for the time. We have so much more to get to this morning regarding the foundation and the work you do. Next, the free resources you can take advantage of, that's an on the record, returns. After a cool weekend, get ready for a warm up. I'm gonna time out what you can expect for the work week. A local university campus expanding as enrollment grows. The groundbreaking happening Monday. We're there when news breaks in every community. Whether you're navigating Palm Beach County traffic or tracking storms on the Treasure Coast, watch WPBF 25 News Mornings everywhere, every day. Score a BOGO for $1 at McDonald's. Snag a sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddles, bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit, or sausage McMuffin with egg. Breakfast at Mickey D's is in the bag. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. South Florida is home to the most comprehensive brain and spine surgery care in the region. Powered by UHealth and Jackson. Healthcare pioneers advancing medicine through innovative treatments unavailable anywhere else in the region. United in expertise, together in leading edge medicine, specialized in keeping the most powerful parts of you running strong. U Health and Jackson Neurosurgery. That's the power of two. Come visit the number one repower center, Palm City Yachts, for your new Suzuki outboards. We carry all sizes ranging from 2.5 to 350 horsepower, in stock and ready to install. Guaranteed best price with financing options available as low as 5.99%, as well as a five year warranty through Suzuki. Stop by the showroom or visit our website today, and we'll get you back on the water by the weekend. Bruno! Bruno! Pup on the run? No problem. With five drive modes, Rogue makes this a walk in the park. Drive the Nissan Rogue. Now get a low $299 per month lease or get 1.9% APR financing for 60 months on Rogue. Ugh, I can't wait to get out of here. And right into my shower. Dial with HydroClean Complex and Vitamin E. Cleanse is deep but is gentle on skin. Dial up your day. Let's do this. You're watching On the Record on WPBF 25. 
Joining me now is Jennifer Etheridge, the Director of Programs and Grants for the Education Foundation. So glad you're here. Let's talk first more about the needs of students that you saw that put you on the path with the foundation. Thank you, Todd. As an educator for over 20 years and a school principal and administrator and parent, I have seen firsthand the needs of our students throughout the community from parents having to choose between putting food on the table for their children or purchasing school supplies, from teachers having to reach into their own pocket to supplement what our students cannot afford, from parents really wanting to be involved in their child's education, but maybe they're working two or three jobs and they just can't get to the school to have those conversations or perhaps they don't speak the language and, and they don't know how to interact with the schools. So I've had a first-hand uh, front row seat, if you will, to seeing some of the needs of our schools and our students. Being a principal, can you talk a little bit about the impact on a student negatively if they don't have the proper tools, but also the positive impact when they get them? Absolutely. So when a student comes to school, if, if they are not prepared in terms of having the equipment they need, having the supplies they need, it impacts their attendance. They don't want to show up to school because they're embarrassed. It, it impacts their self-esteem. Uh, sometimes they can act out behaviorally uh, because they, they don't want people to know that maybe they can't read or they don't have a pencil that day. Um, and, and when you provide students with something as simple as the basic school supplies, you're, you're giving them equitable access and opportunity to something that could change the entire trajectory of their life. Something as simple as a pencil could be something that inspires a future artist or, or maybe um, someone that's going to go into journalism to be able to write. And so when our students have the supplies that they need, they're able to accomplish their goals and, and, and really engage in their school experience without having to worry about what others might think because they don't have the basic supplies. Let's talk about you for a second and how your career and your outlook has evolved from being a, a school principal, as you said, to the role you're in now. Mm -hmm. How has your own view and life evolved in doing this work? Absolutely. So I started off uh, my career as a teacher, teaching tiny humans in elementary school, and I've always had a heart for, for serving the community in that way. Then I became a principal and I worked at a school that served really at-risk students uh, that were really struggling in many ways. And through my work at the foundation, I've been able to really help partner with the community and our staff and our volunteers and our business and philanthropic uh, partners to really ensure that we're carrying out innovative, impactful programs and serving more than one classroom or one school. We partner with the 10th largest school district in the nation, with the school district of Palm Beach County, and we're able to partner with the community to really create those innovative programs and, and meet the needs of our students in an impactful way. It's interesting. I don't think people, maybe even newcomers, realize we are the 10th largest district in the country. It's pretty incredible. Let's talk about programs specifically at the Red uh, Apple Supplies Program and the others, but let's talk specifically about that one. James mentioned it, and it, it's very important. Absolutely. So Red Apple Supplies uh, was founded in 2016 by one of our board members, Meredith Trim, with Ventus Charitable Foundation. And that program started off providing free school supplies to teachers in high needs Title I schools. In that first year, we distributed about $60,000 in free school supplies to nine schools. This year, we're serving 87 schools that are high needs schools. And by the end of the year, we'll be serving uh, 95 schools. And that has an impact potential of over 65,000 students in that one program alone. And so we're able to provide students with free school supplies that they need, uh, from a backpack to paper pencils. Uh, we also are able to provide classroom resources to, to teachers to help create uh, innovative lessons. Maybe it's a, a STEM kit or a robotics kit or something a little bit out of the ordinary that maybe that teacher couldn't afford to have in their room or didn't have the school didn't have the budget for. I have about a minute left for, for this segment. What do you attribute this expansion in, in really a short period of time to where you are today and where you're going as far as helping this number of students? I would attribute our expansion to just really responding to the true need of our students and our teachers in the community, um, partnering with amazing partners in the community that, that, that truly want to make a difference in, in the lives of others and know that public education is, is the way to do that. And if somebody wants to get involved, how do they do that? They can contact the Education Foundation they can advocate and share our mission and what they learned uh, today through our conversation with you. Uh, they could volunteer and, and they could donate to the cause. And there's the website again, in case you didn't see it, educationfoundationpbc.org. 
Jennifer, thanks for coming in. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great one. You too. And great success in the future. Next, we're going to go on the record about classroom grants that teachers can apply for. We'll be right back. We could tell you what it's capable of. Or you could find out for yourself. How we get there matters. Get exceptional offers at your local Audi dealer. Most accurate. Most trusted. When weather turns extreme, count on Chris. My doctor recommends all free clear for my laundry. It's free of dyes and perfumes. And doesn't leave behind irritating residue. For a clean that's gentle on skin, all you need is all free clear. When you have moderate to severe eczema, it's okay to show off. With Dupixin, show off your clearer skin and less itch. Because you have plenty of reasons to show off your skin. With Dupixin, the number one prescribed biologic by dermatologists and allergists, you can stay ahead of your eczema. It helps block a key source of inflammation inside the body that can cause eczema to help heal your skin from within. Many adults saw 90% clearer skin. Some even achieved long-lasting clearer skin and fast itch relief after first dose. Serious allergic reactions can occur that can be severe. Tell your doctor about new or worsening eye problems, such as eye pain or vision changes, including blurred vision, joint aches and pain, or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines without talking to your doctor. Show off to the world. Ask your eczema specialist about Dupixit. What's my safe flight story? I'm a photographer, and when I'm driving, I see inspiration right through my glass. So when my windshield cracked, it had to be fixed right. I scheduled with SafeLight Auto Glass. Their experts replaced my windshield and recalibrated my car's advanced safety system. SafeLight is the one I trust. They focus on safety, so I can focus on this view. SafeLight Repair, SafeLight Replace. You can achieve anything with good sleep, and over 1 million dreamers have trusted City Furniture to help. And from mattresses starting at $149 to a $300 gift card with Tempur-Pedic, you can rest assured we have the best price guaranteed, so everyone can live like this. We could tell you what it's capable of, or you could find out for yourself. How we get there matters. Get exceptional offers at your local Audi dealer. Welcome back to On the Record. Joining me now, Lisa Park, the chair of the Education Foundation Board. Lisa, uh, just start talking first about how you got involved and got into this role. Would love to. So um, I've been involved for over eight years with this foundation. It is a personal passion. Um, I think we all have a why behind how we get involved in nonprofits and um, an organization like the foundation. And I will tell you, you know, knowing that the students are our future, knowing that they're paving the way for what our county is going to look like in the future, and also knowing how important it is to support educators. That's part of the why. Mm -hmm. But the other is very personal. I have a daughter-in-law who is a teacher. She has been working in the school district of Palm Beach County for 11 years. I now have a grandson who's in second grade. That's fun. And so it is. And so between the two of them, I get to really see and hear the stories of what's going on every day. But I also remember 11 years ago when she had the chance to start her career. And at the time, I remember her coming to me and saying, she was gonna be a third grade teacher, and she said, I'm walking into a classroom with four empty walls. And I'm like, what do you mean you're walking into a classroom with four empty walls? Literally, four empty walls that as the teacher, she has to set the stage. She has to come up with the theme. She has to decorate the walls, make it so that when these students walk in, it feels like a welcoming environment. And that is so important to a child, to a young student, that that classroom uh, feels like the place to be. Fun, engaging, exciting. But what I noticed is, 
they go out of pocket to do a lot of that. And I was fortunate that my husband and I could help her get started, but I also knew then and really began to understand, you mean teachers have to pay for that. They've got to find the means to decorate, not just the excitement about what it's going to look like. And so we were happy that we could help out with that, but really that was a real why for me and why we do Red Apple Supplies. We know teachers go out of pocket and we need to stop that. Let's talk about this Go Teach initiative, ah. this program. That is something a little different. It's a, a grant program, I believe. Can absolutely. you explain some of what that's about? So, absolutely. So our Go Teach, one of my favorite times of the year, we call it our Go Teach Classroom Grants, and it continues to grow every year. But what I will say in this past year, so the whole purpose of the grant is to give teachers the ability to come up with creative projects. Maybe there's something they want to accomplish in literacy. Maybe that's something financial literacy. Maybe it's STEM related or something to do with their career or a life skill. And so what the teachers do is they put together their request for a grant and they're telling us what are they going to do that's unique, special to make that learning environment exciting for the child. And then a whole group of us get together, judge all the grants, make sure it meets all the criteria. And I will tell you in this past fiscal year, we have now given out 185,000 in grants this last cycle. That was over 80 programs affected 61 schools. It also impacted over 24,000 students and over 1,500 teachers. That night when we award those grants, your heart sings. It just feels remarkable. No, it's fantastic. It must a lot of joy to know the impact you're having on these kids. Absolutely. Let's talk a little bit more about where the grant money is coming from, where this money comes from, who is donating to the Education Foundation and to these initiatives. Well, we are so blessed. First of all, um, as chair of the board, we have an incredible board, over 37 more members right now, and many of them are very significant players in our community working for big corporations. And so our local community comes together. We also have a lot of people that just have that passion for education. Um, as you heard, Meredith with the Ventus Charitable Foundation, the Stiles Nichols Foundation, I, the list goes on and on. There are so many companies that understand that we need to do more. It's not enough. We need to do more to continue to get these children excited to want to learn. And so we really tap into every avenue that's out there in Palm Beach County. And we're always looking for more. All right. Well, I was, I'm going to have one more question about that. But okay. I want to, before we go, also talk to teachers about how they apply for these grants because this may be new to somebody. How does that happen? So what's wonderful is Jennifer that you met. So she heads up our programs and grants and her team and Becky and um, also uh, Ronnie now. Um, they reach out. So we let everybody know as and typically the way the cycle works is at the end of the school year we will let them know here is our deadline as school gets ready to get kick into the new year. Here's our deadline. Here are the programs that are out there. Um, we give them a lot of experience as to what has happened in the past as well. So they even run seminars and virtual programs that they can take a part in. So we do a lot to publicize it for the teachers. And then we try to teach them how to be successful at writing a grant because sometimes they need help with that. What should it look there like? There is an art to that. There absolutely is. And so our team jumps in and helps with that. What will be great is when we have the new building, we're really envisioning in that new building how we're going to use that as a hub too to bring in previous grant winners to teach others how to create these grants, right? It's always good, right? They always say that that's a flattery, right? When you mimic and do what someone else has done. Right. And so we'll be able to use our new innovation hub to help with that. But they will get the whole process through email. There are calls that they can join. And then they start with the application process. They usually get their principal to endorse. And lots of great opportunities. And we continue to educate them throughout the year and then how to maximize on those grants. We congratulate you on what you're doing. And your staff is outstanding. And it's so much fun to see the passion that you have for this. Well, it's an honor to chair, so I feel I feel like the blessed one here. Thank All you. All right, and now that's public knowledge. Lisa Park, thank you from the Education Foundation. Thanks, we'll be right back. Welcome back to Sunday with a chance of winning. Final question. Which one of these benefits can you receive every year if you enroll with Health Sun. Is it $5,000 for comprehensive dental services? $2,400 for groceries, home and pet care supplies and utilities? $1,500 for OTC items or all of the above? Cindy? See all of them! Ba -da -da! Call us today to learn more about our benefits.
In the next 30 seconds, 250 couples will need to make room for a nursery. 26 people will go all in. This family will get two bathrooms. And finally, one vacationer will say, Yeah, whoo, I'm going to live here. But as the euphoria subsides, the realization hits. I got to sell the house. Don't worry, just sell and buy in one move when you start with Open Door. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. Start with an all cash offer at opendoor.com. On Medicare? Have diabetes? With the Freestyle Libre 3 system, you'll know your glucose and where it's headed. No finger sticks needed. Now covered by Medicare for more people managing diabetes with insulin. Visit freestylelibre.us slash Medicare. All Free Clear is the number one doctor-recommended brand for sensitive skin. Whether you have a family with sensitive skin. Or you do yourself. For a gentle and effective clean, all you need is All Free Clear. Here's what Floridians are saying about StormSmart Custom Hurricane Protection. We can't tell you how perfect the installation is. We were over the moon pleased. The hurricane shades on our lanai are so functional and beautiful. They block incoming rain and sun and allow me to see out. The next hurricane season will find us very well prepared. We will absolutely endorse StormSmart. Call 866-60-SMART and start designing your custom StormSmart screens and high-impact windows today. If you're looking for the yard of your dreams, look no further than Moon Valley Nurseries. America's largest box tree grower is now open in Riviera Beach. Here, you'll find a wide assortment of mature trees and hedges. Our courteous and knowledgeable team will assist you from planning to planting. Create a yard that ensures privacy and a place your family will love. Benefit from our stress-free white glove service and take advantage of our weather protection plans. From small projects to complete yard transformations, we've got what you're looking for. Come see us today. Providing clear information when you need it most. When weather turns extreme, count on Chris. Thank you for making this part of your morning today. We hope you'll be part of our discussion each and every Sunday right here at 10 a.m. Until the next time, you can watch this morning's On the Record and every episode on our website at WPBF.com and on our free WPBF 25 News app. Matter of fact, with Solar and O'Brien is next. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you next Sunday.